Previously on Corruption. The thing is, I just want to have a partner who is actually here half the time. Oh. Oh. Hey! That's enough! If you two don't start getting your shit together, you're out, you understand me? Suit on the weekends again? Of course. In case we get called in. You know, this isn't a five day job that we're doing. I know, but usually on the weekends and Fridays it's casual dress, not oh my God. casual yeah. dress. Casual dress. I wonder yeah. what casual dress would look like for you. I was wearing like, do you own anything that isn't cotton? You know, there's no problem with that. It's living life comfort. Okay. You know, sometimes there are times you need to look presentable. Like, what if someone came in to the office? For bad things, I don't know, but like you can't look like that all the time. What's wrong with you? Dude, I've been doing it for do you the last own a 15 suit? years and it works. You know, I do. For funerals and occasions like that. You know, I understand that Donna Meyer gives you some leeway because you're a good agent, detective, police mm -hmm. force man. I don't really care, but mm -hmm. I'm just baffled by how unprofessional you are. Well, you know, some people would say you're unprofessional too. Why would you say that? We're having a moment. You could turn off your phone. You know what? What if I get called in? What if I need to get called in? He's not gonna call us in. Don't know why I told us that. Well, you never know. Things happen. Kids get shot. We have to report to the scene, okay? You don't know. Is that a joke? Okay. We're supposed to be working out our differences. That's why you sent us to this hellhole. Okay, well, I'm getting pretty bored. So I think what I'm going to do is try and enjoy my Saturday. Probably go get some gas. And then maybe hit up the pretzel guy, grab a quick snack, and enjoy the rest of my weekend. Okay? Alright. You can't leave. Why is that? Donna Myers monitoring the trackers in our cars. And he's gonna be calling about every half hour to make sure that we're still together. When, so when did he put a tracker in my car? We all have trackers in our cars, you idiot. Oh my gosh. Well This is prison. We're doing time. So I guess we can enjoy ourselves until then. So why don't you tell me about your childhood? Uh, I don't know how much longer this is going to take. He said a few hours to resolve our differences, but you know, I don't know how that's going to go. How does he know that we're not just going to get a sandwich or something if our cars happen to leave? I mean... Like he's called already. I mean, like maybe one, he'll only call once. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. 
Oh. oh my god, he's calling again. Okay. Hello? Yes. Yes. Yes, we're still at the park. Yes, I'm still with him. Mm hmm. You want to hear him? Again? Jesus. What? Yes, yes, we are still. T yes, I'm with him. Yes. Okay, okay. Bye. He said he'll call back in a half hour. Oh my god! How much longer is this gonna take? And I don't know what he plans to have come out of this. Like, what does he want from this? Work. I'm just. I don't know if I'm more annoyed with him or you. Right now, him. Oh. I do. I don't know. Yeah, How long have you been working here with him, anyways, uh, as your boss? I think he's been with Chief there like two and a half years. Oh, God. Oh, it's. Yeah, yeah. I've only been here for what, like a month, and I'm already kind of tired of him. Like, don't get me wrong, he's a good guy, but... Well, I mean, I guess that's one thing we can agree on. Don't get sappy on me now. Oh, man, I can't stand that please. It's just... I, I don't know what goes through that man's mind. He was definitely an abuse child. If anything, maybe someone could come, like, shoot us right now, or abduct us or something. Hey! Will you kill us? I mean... Come on, you've shot at us enough! Maybe we'll let you hit us this time! You know, sometimes... I kind of look at the stuff that we see while we're... gathering the people from, like, the depths of the city. And it's like... How screwed up can people be? That they uh, do these kind of things. There's some really... Messed up people out there, I tell you. Sometimes it's just the stress of this job. Knowing that you're after someone who's out there hurting people, and you gotta, gotta find them. But until you find them, they're probably still out there, still hurting people. And there's nothing you can do. I have a question. You know, after like, you can complaining about me quite a bit and you know if you hate me and Big Daddy D so much Big Big Daddy D? Don Meyer a couple of those guys came up with that um so yeah but if, if you hate us so much why are you sticking around? Why are you still here? Well it's not like I can just up and leave whenever I want like I mean, you could. Do, do, you, do you want me to? No, I'm done. I'm just I mean, I mean, I, I bet is you there, want me to. Is there something keeping you here? That stealing you your chair? <laughs> stealing your office? Yeah, I understand why you'd hate me, but not, I'm sorry. I, it's a rough situation. That had all our support. I can't go anywhere. Why not? Well... I had a girlfriend. Who was Mrs. Yeah, a Mrs. It's really get interesting. Down when I was in DC. Mm-hmm. You know, we had a... It was... Started off as casual, kind of got more serious. Kind of in that awkward middle stage between moving in together and the next step, you know. But... Rough stage, rough stage. You know, she always uh, kept these notes on the fridge whenever she would leave. Just say, like, hope you have a good day. I'll be at the store. I'll be at Zumba. I don't know. She would leave notes just to catch up with us. Try and stay in contact, even though we may not have seen each other throughout the day. So I always got in the routine of, you know, checking the note. Then one day I went and there was a note there that said she'd be back by three. Three, she had a doctor's appointment. So, you know, I went to the bureau. I was doing my business. I was able to get home a little early. We were going to meet for a nice dinner, but she wasn't back yet, which was 
strange because it was around 5.30, but her car was in the driveway. She wasn't there. So I started, you know, calling her phone, couldn't get in contact with her. Started calling her office, the doctor's office, kind of snowballed until I realized that no one had seen her that day. Ever since she left my house. So, I started to ask myself, who brought the car back, huh? So where did she go? Is this a joke? And that's when I finally went out to check the car and there was a note in there too, but it wasn't from her. It was a ransom note for her. She was taken by an underground organization, probably tied up in all this drug stuff, they almost always are. And I had been tracing any scrap of movements of theirs I could find, but only thing I know is that they are somewhere up here in the Big Apple. So, you could tell me to leave, and we could have as many issues as you want, or as we need, but I'm not going anywhere until I find her. So you said it was like an underground drug operation? Yeah. How much were they asking for? I don't know, I just hear those organizations can roll in the money. They're asking for enough. All right. So. What are you here for, then? Well, uh... I haven't really said it to anyone else before, but, um... Like, when I was back in high school, school wasn't quite my thing, per se. And I ended up dropping out first semester of senior year. Thought I was gonna make it, but it just didn't happen. Um, so I stayed home with my family um, and one day I was taking a walk through the park with my little cousin Tucker and uh, a fight broke out in the middle of the park and um, it was over some drug deal or something it always is yeah and uh, one thing led to another people pulled some guns and um, Tucker got hit with a stray bullet and ended up bleeding out there in the park. Um, so I tried to go see who it was that had ended up shooting him, and since then I just kind of wanted to help people like that. Just didn't want any other kids like that to get hurt. In the kitchen. 